Our basketball day Indiana coverage from Bankers Live Fieldhouse continues with royalty. We have the mayor of Indianapolis and the president and COO of Pacers Sports and Entertainment, Joe Hoxett and Rick Fusen. These are two guys that just smile when I say basketball day Indiana. Rick, what a day this is. How excited have you been to follow the action today? Well, I tell you, it's been great. You know, there's high school uh, high school games, uh, you know, with th those kids playing in Kokomo Gym. I mean, you got the whole thing going on. It's really great. And then tonight, we, you know, when we have Coach Katie and Coach Knight here, it couldn't end on a better note for us, especially after the great thing that they had at IU today. Mayor, you're the 49th mayor of Indianapolis. They say in 49 states is basketball, but this is Indiana. What makes it special here? Oh, I think it's the history, our uh, involvement with the game at all levels. Not only do we have the, a great pro team in the Pacers, we've got great intercollegiate basketball with IU, Purdue, Butler, Notre Dame. Uh, and then it all begins in uh, grade school and high school. And uh, it just becomes part of your DNA when you grow up in Indiana. And, and it just continues the rest of your life. And it was part of your DNA growing up in Rushville. Yeah, we had some good teams in Rushville. We made it to the state championship game in 1976. I know I'm dating myself by saying that, but um, it's great high school basketball, and now we've got a great pro team to support. Thank you. Rick, how beneficial is it for the Pacers and the Fever to have someone like Joe Hogsett support you and everything that happens here? Well, it's unbelievable. Uh, you know, think about what the mayor has done in terms of uh, dealing with Herb and keeping the Pacers here for another 25 years, talking about the renovation of the building. Um, but he's a fan. I mean, he comes and he sits uh, uh, religiously at the Fever games and the Pacer games, and he cheers, and he knows the players, and he knows, you know, Tamika, and, and, and he knows everybody there. And so it's, it's, uh, it's so heartwarming to see our our leader uh, uh, be there but this renovation coming up is going to be tremendous we're going to start in march we'll close down next summer um with 360 million dollar uh, over three years uh, it's going to continue to make us the best uh, arena any place uh, and so we're grateful to uh, what the legislature did in helping us with the city government as well mayor your perspective on that to see bankers life Fieldhouse, and i travel around the nba and i al already think of it as you know a top five venue maybe the best for pure basketball fans in the nba this can only make it better and it can make it go into the future well and it's hard to believe that it's over 20 years old uh, it doesn't look it and yet, because of the agreement that uh, the city has reached with the uh, Pacers, not only do we keep the Pacers here in Indianapolis for 25 years, but as Rick indicated, it's going to be a state-of-the-art 21st century venue where we're going to host the tw uh, 2021 NBA All-Star Game. We'll continue to have Big Ten men's and women's basketball championships. We'll have the NCAA uh, Final Four. Uh, and so it's still going to be the place to, to be uh, for basketball, certainly in this area of our of, of our country, and I would argue uh, as good as any other place in the country. Rick, on a day like today, I think it's important we also mention the impact that the Pacers and the Fever have with the IHSA, and presenting sponsors of the girls' high school boys or high school state tournament sectional night tonight, and then the boys' state tournament that starts in about four weeks. Why was this important to the well, franchise? It was really important. Hey, we had to get the the rules changed with the league because that his, that historically that wouldn't have been allowed to happen, and I think we're still one of the only teams that does that but you know to support the IHSA uh, Bobby Cox has been a great commissioner um, you, you know Blake rest before him and on and on down the, in the history but the IHSAA does great things I mean they're not only about basketball or football or wrestling or swimming or whatever the case these are really student athletes and so uh, to be able to help them and put the Pacers and fever name uh, on the championship in basketball um, it, it, it was just a no-brainer we make sure that we wanted those kids to know that we support them and we appreciate what they do you can follow the mayor on twitter at indy mayor joe and there was a tweet out today that it's basketball day indiana basketball fans are tuning in to root for their favorite teams when you just talk to regular folks that you know go to the job nine to five monday through friday how important is having basketball having a team to root for the pacers or maybe your favorite college team or the high school team you support this is a big part of everyone's life is in indiana yeah and i'll tell you in indianapolis which is uh the largest city in the state we were blessed three years ago in the IHSAA Boys Final Four to have not one, not two, but three Indianapolis schools uh, in the state championship game, and all three won. Right. Now, there are many, many high schools in Indianapolis, but I can tell you, for Indianapolis to have three state champions in one year, uh, everybody in town was proud.
Right. Uh, it might not have been their school, but they were proud of those teams because they represented Indianapolis. And that pride in their schools, what makes a day like this special, Rick? Oh, it's a special thing. You know, um, I've seen them at one, two, and three, and four, and it's the same. They're either very sad that they lost or they're very jubilant that they won. So it's great for all those kids. Rick Fusen, Mayor Joe Hawkshead, thanks for your time. And enjoy the rest of basketball day, Indiana. We will. Thank you. Brian, let's go back to you.